Hi everyone. So friends, if you are written your research or review paper and if you are not happy with whatever abstract and title you have written or if you are confused in writing an effective title and abstract for your manuscript, then yes, you are at the right place. And hence in this video, first we'll discuss about excellent chat GPT's prompt to write effective title, concise and clear abstract, discoverable keywords. And then in later part, we'll be actually writing by using chat GPT and we'll be evaluating this document in Turnitin for plagiarism and AI score. Now, before moving ahead discussing these prompts, let us first discuss about few key points about this title, abstract and keywords until and unless you know these key points you cannot prepare excellent prompt so that you can fetch the specific information from the quality sources now let us first discuss about the abstract and then we'll be discussing about the title and keyword so we'll be first discussing about different types of abstracts and accordingly we'll be discussing about the prompts so this is the typical type of abstract and these are few key elements of this abstract however before selecting any type of abstract you have to think about two points first whether the journal where you are about to submit your research or review paper has specifically mentioned to include any of these elements while writing your abstract and second you have to think about whether that journal has mentioned about number of words okay so if the journal has not mentioned anything about these elements and the word limit is around 250 to 300 then yes it is possible to accommodate all these five points now i have taken one example you can go through this abstract the impact of daily exercise on mental health so first you have to introduce your topic and you have to talk about the importance why you have selected that topic maybe in one or two lines, then you have to include few important methods those you have used in data collection and data analysis. Then you have to include few, maybe one or two key results, their implications, what are the effects of these results, maybe on different applications, human behaviors, etc. And then in one line, you have to talk about the future directions. Maybe the study opens avenues for future research to explore, okay, few things. So in this way, you have to organize your abstract and to generate this abstract you can put this prompt in chat gpt write an abstract for a research paper on you have to paste your title here we have not discussed about writing title by using chat gpt but still you have to paste any rough title that you have written or you have to write rough title for your research paper or review paper then follow this flow now you have to insert these points these elements because you know this flow so introduction and importance methods so this is again important point so you have to mention few methods those you want to include or uh, in your research paper then results you have to mention key results implications and future directions so along with that you have to mention that the abstract should be clear and concise keep the abstract within 150 to 250 words so for this you have to stick to that specific journals guidelines if they have mentioned about 200 words so you can put here as 200 words suitable for journal submission now let us discuss about the second type of abstract so this is the abstract that i have used in one of my published research articles so if the number of words limit is something around 200 then it becomes difficult to accommodate all these five points in your abstract so I have excluded the last point you can see here. I have only used single sentence for introducing my topic and writing about the importance of my topic. And then I have used one more sentence for methods and the extensive sentences data I have used that represents the results and implications. Okay. So accordingly, you can modify ChatGPT's prompt. For example, if you need to write this type of abstract, then simply you can remove this point because you have to focus maximum on methods, results and implications. You can also remove this point. In few journals, they only have criteria of writing abstract maybe in between 100 to 150 words. So in that case, you can only include key results and implications because most of the journals ask to include key results and implications in your abstract so straight away you can remove this point as well okay and hence the most important point is you have to stick to that particular journals formatting guidelines and according to that you can modify this chat gpt's prompt now let us discuss about the third type of abstract and which is related to 
a review paper so you can include this type of abstract while writing your review paper so you can consider these three points first is obviously in one or two lines you have to talk about the background and scope importance of your topic then main findings your critical arguments and their implications and last in one line obviously you can include this part future directions so in order to write this abstract you can consider this chat gpt's prompt obviously almost everything is same but you have to write here as a review paper title then background and scope main findings implications and future directions similarly number of words and you can write as clear and concise so in this way you can put chat gpt's prompt to generate abstract for your review paper now once you are ready with your abstract you can move ahead writing an effective title for your research or review paper so the first important point your title should be concise and clear your title will be the first impression of your overall manuscript and it plays a vital role during the preliminary stage of journal publication so i have given one example you can go through it so remote work and employee productivity during covid 19 this is clear and concise title however one can write in this way so this is this will form verbose title an examination of how working remotely has affected this productivity levels of employees throughout the duration of the covid 19 pandemic I means this title is not at all specific so in this way you have to put your title and second point is your title should be in one phrase summary we never write title in the form of sentence or in the form of a question rarely in few cases you will find that the title is in the form of question mark but most of the times it should be a one phrase summary and then it should be in between 8 to 15 words there is no any thumb rule that your title must be 8 words only it must be 15 words only but if your title is less than 8 words then there are chances that your title is not specific if it is more than 15 words then there are chances that your title will become lengthy so you have to follow these three important points and this is the example of one of my published research article so this is something around it is of 17 words so till 20 it is okay many journals even mention this that your title should be less than 20 words and maybe 7 8 is okay but you have to ensure that your title should be very specific for example if my title is surface mechanical attrition treated as a 91d alloy then this could not be a specific and hence to make it specific i have added these two words these few words to make it little more specific i have added this words gradient microstructure and property so i couldn't write the title within 15 words because i have to include this few important keywords but yes you can try to keep your title maybe close to 15 words it is fine and then you have to write down author names and affiliation here also you have to keep one point in mind if you have contributed a lot while writing your research or review paper then you should be at first place okay i have also total four authors but I intentionally i have not included these names so 70% credit of your research or review paper will be given to the first author and 30% credit of your article will be divided among this remaining co-authors now to write this title you can use this chat gpt's prompt write title for a research paper by considering the abstract because of this we have started with abstract first now we have already generated the abstract by using chat gpt so you have to paste that abstract here and then you can mention ensure the title is clear and concise specific in one phrase summary okay and also you can mention about the number of words suitable for journal submission you can also modify this prompt if you want to include any other specific information in your title now let us move towards the keywords and the first point is discoverability you have to select you have to write the keywords in such a way that the discoverability of your research or review paper should be excellent for example if anybody is searching uh, with few keywords related to your topic then your research or review paper should reflect maybe in first two to three links because of that number of citations will be increased and hence putting proper keywords is really very important and this keyword should increase the discoverability of your 
manuscript and second point is same you have to keep your uh, these keywords in between 5 to 7 words and for that that you have to stick to the journal formatting guidelines as well most of the journals mention about whether they want five keywords six keywords seven keywords but generally it is in between five to seven words now to generate excellent keywords you can use this chat gpt's prompt where you have to paste your abstract you have already generated abstract by using chat gpt and you have already generated the topic or title by using the chat gpt and you can mention that it should be easily discoverable and you can mention specific number of words suitable for journal submission now we'll take one example we'll consider one topic we'll generate abstract first and then title and keywords by using chat gpt's free version and then we'll be checking this document in turn it in for plagiarism and ai score so this is the information that you should have before moving ahead writing abstract by using chat gpt so rough title so this is the title so this topic i have considered methods i have mentioned which methods i am using for data analysis and collection so same an xrd optical microscope eds similarly you can mention your methods or if you expect few methods needs to be there then you can mention about these methods key results what results you are expecting or if or if you have already carried out the experiments then you have to mention about two to three key results this language need not to be excellent now what i'll do is i'll go back to the prompt i'll copy this prompt because i want to write this abstract so i'm copying this prompt i'm using chat gpt's 3.5 version which is a free version okay so same prompt then what i'll do is i'll copy my title here i have a rough title so copy and then paste similarly i will paste methods and results now i'll modify this number of words abstract in 500 words suitable for journal submission actually turnitin won't be able to detect any document which is less than 300 words so for the safer side i'll be asking to create abstract in 500 words but obviously your abstract must be in between 200 to 300 words so enter now i'll copy this generated abstract into my word file and i'll remove these titles this should be abstract because abstract would be in one paragraph now you can see that i have asked chat gpt to create abstract in 500 words but you will see this so the number of words are 265 so this deviation will always be there so you have to ensure the number of words now what we'll do is we'll just copy the prompt for title so i'll copy this prompt and then i'll paste here so now i have to copy uh, now i have to paste this generated abstract now enter okay so this is the title enhanced by compatibility of deformed z31 magnesium alloy for biomedical implants so if you are okay with this title you can copy this otherwise you may ask chat gpt to generate few other titles i'll paste this copy title here now i'll remove this now we'll go ahead generating keywords for this abstract and title so i'll copy the chart gpt prompt so topic 
now i have finalized the title i'll copy that title here then i will also paste the generated abstract okay then enter so these are the keywords chat gpt has suggested so i'll copy these keywords back into my word file now this document is complete but if you look at the number of words as i told you if i want to check these documents for ai in turn it in then number of words should be more than 300 but here you will be able to see the number of total number of words are only 291 and for that i am just copying the same paragraph again here so let us now move towards the turnitin interface so i'll submit this file submit then title first page and write at abstract then choose file which is final title abstract and keywords and upload confirm go to the assignment box so it may take few seconds or maybe sometimes one or two minutes to generate similarity and AI score okay so as you can see here so the similarity is 20% okay it is still accepted but if I click here in order to see the AI score okay you can see the AI score is 100% obviously when you write something when you generate some information by using chat GPT then most of the times this AI score will become 100% for all the generated documents and hence even though you have generated an excellent document because of this high AI score you cannot submit this document in any journal or university and hence you have to learn about different techniques so that you can keep the AI score of your generated documents well within the acceptable limits and exactly on this topic we have launched one course through our website the link is there in this video description you can go through that where we'll be discussing about writing individual sections starting from introduction methodology results and discussion conclusions everything with chat gpt's excellent prompts and with some other AI tools we'll also be discussing about data analysis generating data plotting graphs by using this ai tool so definitely this course will help you a lot so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you so i'll see you in my next video bye bye